Hello everyone. Looking to get an expert knowledge of a Christmas carol but haven't got hours and hours to spend doing it? Well look no further. In this series of videos we aim to give you all the information you need from plot to context to theme and character analysis. So let's waste no time and immediately begin to explore the plots for without an understanding of this you have nothing to ground your analysis in. So as we know there are five staves this novella of a Christmas carol. Stave linking obviously to the notion of music the idea of the title being a carol. So in stave one, we have the introduction to Scrooge, Fred, and Bob Cratchit. We know that Scrooge is cruel and will not donate to charity. He also argues with Fred about Christmas. Marley's ghost appears and warns Scrooge about his ways. He also tells him he will be visited by free spirits. In stave two, essentially the main aspects of this stave is that the ghost of Christmas past appears and takes Scrooge back to his schoolboy days. He also shows him old Fezziwig and his former relationship with Belle, who then marries someone else. The notion being obviously he was happier in the past and something then changes. In Stay Free, the ghost of Christmas present appears. Scrooge is taken to the Cratchit household to introduce the reader to Tiny Tim. The ghost shows Scrooge numerous other happy festivities before warning Scrooge of want and ignorance before disappearing. In Stay 4, the ghost of Christmas yet to come shows Scrooge people celebrating his death. He is also shown his own tombstone. The character Scrooge begs to be allowed to change his life. In Stay 5, our final stave, the character wakes up and is redeemed as a changed character. He attends Fred's Christmas party and offers Bob Cratchit a raise. Tiny Tim does not die. So that's a summary of what occurs in each stave. They're the main points you're going to need to help you identify different sections for your exam. Let's now really begin to explore how our analysis can help achieve great marks in your essays. So thank you. Let's continue with our revision.